I wanted to choose a discipline that helped me grow personally. It's not about grades, it's about how to bring myself out into the world. This and a little dot at the head of it, like a square with a dot at the head of it is sort of my diagram for what Western classes look like, uh -huh. and a circle is what Jerry glasses okay. tend to look like visually, if you're a visual person. Going to school is easy. The teacher does the lesson plan for you. They set out your schedule for you. They tell you what to do when you get home. I was actually really good, like in high school. I'm really good at jumping through hoops. I just don't enjoy it. <laughs> I always take my own route through education everything. I couldn't stand high school. That's why I did college. I think when I first heard about Fairhaven, it wasn't like, oh, I want to do interdisciplinary. It was, I heard that you could make your own major. I know a lot of people who are the perfect Fairhaven student and that, oh, they didn't do well in traditional schools, they like to learn independently, but aren't really good at like book learning and academia. I, I, I felt more empowered to be able to write my own, like pave my own path. I want to take these Huxley classes because they're important, but I want to be able to use them in this way and not just have like this list of courses that everybody else has taken. These kids today are kind of like funneled into college. It wasn't like I just wanted to do art so I got funneled into the art department. I made it something else. The standard route was putting me on a path I'm not going to use. I didn't know what I wanted to do for my major so having the freedom to sort of choose your own felt a lot more possible to me than trying to like put myself in a box. I was a regular main campus western student and I was just taking all the GURs I could until I could figure out what I was going to do. Fairhaven just had, the, had what I needed. I already got my AA through high school. I wanted to continue doing my own thing. I'm always intrigued by something new, so I don't want just like this plan that I have to just like... This one's for your To me, interdisciplinary education is is when you don't fit into the regular mold or if you, your interest doesn't fit into a major in the, in the, at the university. And so, or if you have more than one in interest that culminates into a concentration as you, as you would have it at Fairhaven. Now, of course, you, you can learn one subject, that's great. You can learn math here, you can learn education here. But I feel that it needs to be somehow entwined. So I know I'm like a really different type of learner. I'm really hands-on and I need math, I need art. You could take, say, like biology and, and, and you know, computer sciences and you know, nit, take a couple of trades and throw them together and you come out with like this really specialized kind of holistic uh, degree. First I was like, maybe I'll do computer science because I really like learning about computers and technology. Because at the time I was like, I like writing art and music and none of those together would have translated into a normal major. Um, and as it turns out, I didn't do anything with any of those for my concentration, but, but at the time that was what, I was what I was thinking. I just figured Fairhaven would be the best way to do that, to, to, to take, to combine what I wanted to do, film and writing. It's like when you have a job you really enjoy. Yeah. Like it's smaller, it's more intimate, you know the professors and like they know you, you'll probably have them a couple different times. When I go to a lot of Western classes, it feels like more like a chore. The teachers here know me. They know what I'm about, they know what I'm trying to do. And, and they know uh, what they can teach me. But I don't feel that personal attention is given at Western. I can just like be myself and I can be myself around my teachers. I'm not afraid to like show them that I have personality. I, I guess you could say that there's 
things and the way society works and the way our educational system works is part of that that aren't functional. You know, there's clearly things that aren't working right now. I can see how just simply to follow in the path of an already established structure of learning and learning already established things is not going to make any change in that. In some school schools, they're favoring one side instead of the whole. We're teaching one way instead of culture. So we're just teaching this is the American way instead of, well, this is what they did in Japan. This is what they did here in China. This is what they did here in combining those, if that makes sense. The teachers are often putting themselves out on the line in their given field of work. They're taking chances and they're putting together really creative classes that that foster the imagination. They're stretching the limits of what you can do in a university. Your teachers evaluate your work, your work ethic. They don't just give you a number or a letter and call it a day. I get to know my uh, classmates. We, we get to do a lot of group work together, so the communication is better than it was when I was a main campus student. And I think the students appreciate that, and therefore they give of themselves and, and I share with the rest of the class what they're going through, the process. I think it's more important to educate yourself in a way that can help you just live your everyday life instead of educating yourself to be put into a box. Fairhaven is what you make of it. And like if you want it to be easy, it'll be easy. It's all about self-discipline. It's work that I feel like really brings together a lot of the things that are important to me in terms of ecological sustainability as well as economic justice and really, you know, people supporting each other and building support systems that work. There's a thousand different architects out there that went through the same training and I'm sure they've got different skill sets, but it'd be, it's nicer for me to be able to think that, you know, there's not, there's not many people out there that have my concentration title, you know, so that's, that's pretty cool. Say, kids, what time is it?